this is prashantini we are going to learn about fixtures and fastening in this video lecture all those fittings which are required for connecting the rails into in and for fixing the rails to the sleepers are known as fixtures and fastenings the function of these are to join the rails into in to form a full length of the track to fix the rails to the sleepers to maintain proper alignment of the track to provide expansion and contraction between the rails due to the temperature variation and to maintain required tilt of the rails and to set the points and crossing in proper position the different types of fixtures and fittings that are used in the railways are fish plates bearing plates chairs spikes bowls and keys we will see all these one by one fish plates these plates are used to maintain proper alignment of the rail line they maintain the continuity of the rails and also allow expansion or contraction of rails caused due to the temperature variations these plates are generally made up of ms and they are 20 mm in thickness they are 450 457 mm long and provided with four holes of each 32 mm diameter and the spacing of 114 mm center to center so these fish plates are provided on either side of the rails bearing plate bearing plates are made up of cast iron or steel so these are used to tie the flat footed rails to the wooden sleepers so they these are used only for flat footed rails because so due to the load of the wheels the flat footed rails will sink into the sleeper so in order to overcome this bearing plates are introduced so which transfer the load of load from the rails to a wider area to the sleepers so you can see here in this diagram so this is the flat footed rail so the top will be rounded or bull shaped and bottom will be flat so here so this yellow color is the bearing plate and this arched portion is the sleeper so you can see the bearing plate of much wider than the flat foot rails so which transfers or widens spreads the load to the larger area through the sleepers next spikes spikes are used to fix rails to the wooden sleepers so there are four different types of spikes dog spike round spike screw and elastic spike spikes dog spikes all the rails at correct gauge and can be easily fixed and removed so these are commonly used for holding flat footed rails next screw spikes so the difference between dog spike and the screw spike is so we have uh, tilting over the screw Uh, twist and turns you in the screw spice so both these dog spike and the screw pipe are used only for flat footed rails so the elastic spikes and the round spikes are used for bull leg type of rails chairs chairs are used to pull the double headed and bull headed rails in the position so you can see in this figure so this is the fish plate so which connects two rails which has four holes and this one so this is the chair which connects the bull headed rail to the sleeper below so this is the chair so these chairs are 
connected to the sleepers by the bolts keys keys are the small tapered pieces of timber or steel to connect rails to the chairs on the metal sleepers so in this figure we can see the, that so this is the rail so this is the chair so between the rail and the chair the key is placed here so depending on the material in the key is made so it, it is classified in four different types so timber metal struts and Mor morgan keys bolts bolts are used for connecting fish plates to the rails at each rail joint chairs or bearing plates to the timber sleepers sleepers to the bridge graders etc so they, these are the different types of bolts that are used for railway fastenings and fittings so you can see this is the bolt so chair bolt which connects the chair to the sleeper so these are the fish bolts so which connects the fish plate to the rail next we will see creeps in the rails the longitudinal movement of the rails in the track in the direction of motion of the locomotives is called as creep in rails so the value the amount of creep varies from 6 0 to 6 inches so we'll see how the wave motion creates in the rails so this is the wheel of the wheel of the train and this dotted line indicates the normal position of the rails so when the train moves so this is the point of contact of the train wheel and the rail so due to the load so the rail is depressed you can see this curvature here so this curvature denotes the depression due to the wheel load of wheel load okay so as the wheel moves the depression moves and the previous depressed portion regains to its original level so this causes this wave motion in of the rails while the train is moving so this is called as wave, wave theory of creep now we will see the causes of creep the first cause of the creep is when the train is starting or stopping by application of brakes so first we will see the starting of the wheels so when the train is starting from a junction or a station it pushes the rail backward and hence the direction of the creep is in opposite direction so this is the movement of the train so this is the train moving direction and this is the opposite direction so creep occurs to the opposite direction of the direction of motion of the train and this is when the train is stopping so when the train stops the creep occurs in the same direction as the direction of motion of the train when the wheels of the vehicle strikes the crest so the crest point is nothing but the place where the rail touches the sleeper so these are the crest points so when the wheels comes on the sleepers so there will be creepage and the third cause of creep is due to the unequal expansion and contraction of the temperature so the factors governing creep or alignment of the track so it is found greater on the curves than the straight line portion next gradient of the track generally creep develops in the direction of down gradient but it changes direction frequently the direction of motion of the trains in the direction in which more number of trains move there more creep develops 
so effects of creep development of disturbance in the gorge and alignment so the sleeper's position will be changed due to the creep in rails so widening of gaps disturbance at points and crossings the interlocking mechanisms of signal is disturbed and thrown out of gear due to the creep if the creep to rail is removed from the track it becomes difficult to refix it buckling of the track takes place in extreme cases rail end get battered and suspended joints start becoming supported joints so the correction to be done for the creep is pulling back of the rails so creep is the expansion of rail so we can pull it back and use of creep anchors so we can see this curved and v shaped anchor so this is called as the creep anchor and this can be used to avoid the creepage and use of steel sleepers so steel sleepers are better than the wooden sleepers and increase in the sleeper density so the mass density of the sleeper can be increased to reduce the creep thank you